What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Bookery. I'm Josh, and this is Skyrocket Steel by Ron Galark. And we're going to be talking about this today. So I picked this book up probably about a year ago at my local bookstore, and I read it shortly thereafter. So a lot of this is right off the top of my head. But I saw it on my shelf, and I was like, you know what? I want to talk about Skyrocket Steel because this is something different. So Ron Gallart is known for his kind of like goofy... Um, not super serious sci-fi fantasy crossover sort of story. So he writes a lot of that kind of like elfish sort of stories. And Skyrocket Steel is not that though, but it is definitely very goofy. So it follows this author, uh, Peter Tinsley, and he's sort of struggling through his career. He's writing for some pulp magazines with uh, sci-fi and thriller and suspense and stuff like that. And he's just not really fulfilled in what he's doing. So um, he's talking with one of his old buddies that he runs into. And he says, hey, I'm writing for this this serial, this TV serial. It's all sci-fi stuff it's right up your alley. Why don't you uh, come on in and l let me show you to the producer. So he goes in and the producer is really impressed um, with everything that he's done with all his writing. And somehow knows who he is, which is which is the par the start of kind of an interesting uh, twist in the story. So Ron takes the job, or I'm sorry, that's Ron. Peter Tinsley takes the job writing for the serial that he is calling Skyrocket Steel. And it's uh, this story about this, this guy, Skyrocket Steel, and he's saving this girl from aliens. The entire book takes place in old Hollywood just before World War II. So it's all that like Foo Fighter sort of pre-Cold War kind of stuff where people are afraid of UFOs and they're also afraid of nuclear weapons. And it's a lot of stuff going on that is um, pre-World War II old Hollywood. You know, you got the cars, the the cool fedoras, the, the suits and everything. And it's just very, uh, it's a very romantic kind of feeling book, very nostalgic in that way. So I enjoyed that a lot, but that is also part of that story. So the pulpiness of it all plays in. You got, you know, the dame that's in trouble and you got the uh, the gangsters that are chasing everybody. So that, start, that comes into play throughout the book too. Uh, the studio, Star Spangled Studios, is, which I love that name, um, they're producing this whole thing so... Peter and his friend, they need to go to the Star Spangled Studio um, lot to write the story. And as they're writing it, things start to happen. So the, the girl, Tracy Flynn, she's the, uh, the main actress in the show. Um, Peter kind of develops a thing for her and she's sort of like hard to get kind of thing. So you got that whole little like love story working in there too, with, which is cool. Um, but... Peter starts writing her character as if she's the dame in distress and he's the hero of the story. So he writes himself as Skyrocket Steel. And from that point on, we start to see things materializing in real life. All of a sudden, these ray guns and stuff start discharging and he can't tell if it's really happening or if it's all in his imagination. And then that story develops along the way to the point where it's a little indiscernible between reality and the fiction that he's writing. And in that way, I really, really enjoyed the way that Ron Gallart went through that journey with Peter Tinsley. I was surprised to find out that Skyrocket Steel was actually a comic book character in the 30s. Um, it was this comic magazine published by um oh now i don't remember i'll pop it up on the screen um but it was amazing mysteries funnies and i don't remember the the publisher but anyways they published this character skyrocket steel very short-lived um and very different from the book that was written in 1980 but i'm sure that the name you know how that's a weird enough name where Ron Gallart must have read those comics and said, hey, that's a cool name. I'm going to write a write a little book about it. Uh, but either way, I absolutely love this. If you're into quirky, weird, kooky, funny sci-fi, 
this is totally it. But then it's also got that twist of like a noir detective story as Peter's trying to figure out what the heck is going on in his life. And the big ending, the big finish is is great. It's, it's like a, a blockbuster film at the end of this book. So I really loved it. I think you will too if you're into that goofy stuff like I am. That's Skyrocket Steel by Ron Gallart. I'm Josh. This is the Sci-Fi Bookery. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.